When you see a fire on TV, it's not the same as being there in person. It's just, wow, just still shock. And meeting the people, it's hurt. We had three cats. And two of them were always outside and one's inside. And my son said he didn't get the last one. It was hiding. He says his home had been in the family for more than six decades. I pulled in through here. And I walked down and I saw it on fire. And this is all that's left. I seen two teddy bears and a comal. The Monte Vista fire scorched 17 acres Wednesday, right in the middle of town. Exactly. So when you get an evacuation notice, what are you thinking? Ah, no big deal. Well, it is. Fire crews tell us winds were howling up to 45 miles per hour. And there's red flag warnings, like why would someone burn? Oh. And within minutes, several homes reduced to rubble. Can't believe it's true, like, it's like we worked really hard to pay it. And we're, I mean, we're an older couple, and we have to start over again, we're not, we can't, like, well, who's gonna give us a loan? They had lived in their trailer 20 years. All our memories, all our, you know, are here. But say they don't have any insurance. I mean, I know stuff is, is just um, material stuff and thank God everybody's alive. I'm so thankful for my neighbors, for everything. But it's just like, I don't know how we're gonna start over. Those are the toughest questions after a disaster like this that will leave a scar on this small town and its people. It's heartbreaking. It was really heartbreaking and disappointing. Obviously, a lot of people in this community are going to need a whole lot of help. We're starting to see some GoFundMes come in. As we get those verified, we'll make sure to post them on our website, kdvr.com. The Monte Vista Community Fund is also accepting cash donations right now. All of that money going to go to help fire victims. Ashley Michaels, Fox 31.